Hi, Heather McLaren with the Friday update from Tucson, Arizona. I am from Long Realty and I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Ryan Fitzgerald from Long Mortgage. He's been with them about two and a half years. Say hi to Ryan. Hi, Heather. How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you having me. <laughs> um, we are going to be talking today a little bit about the fees as a purchaser of a home loan. If you're out there home shopping, if you're actively looking, even if you're under contract with something, Thing. We're going to have an important discussion today about some of the fees that will help you compare lenders and compare mortgage loan options. Often those fees are called processing, origination, or even underwriting fees, or sometimes a combination of. Okay. They can be a flat fee or a percent of the loan amount. Mm -hmm. Long mortgage, we charge a flat origination fee of $1,125 for the loan. Well, that's pretty good. So that's that doesn't depend on if it's a million dollar home, $300,000 home, it's a flat fee, 1125. Okay. Now for our VA buyers out there, I will say for long mortgage, we waive our origination fee of $1125 for all VA buyers. So oh, they're okay. saving $1125 right off the bat by going with long mortgage. Okay. Well, and sometimes it's not always the situation with the lender that they charge a flat fee, correct? Correct. Sometimes they could charge a percent of the loan amount. Hmm. And that could be their processing or origination fee that they charge. So it's very important when you're looking and comparing lenders to really look at the fee that they're charging you. Not look at the closing cost or the cash to close amount that might be on an estimate, but hmm. look at the fees they're charging you. Because really... That's the only thing, that and the interest rate are the only things that the lenders have control over. Okay. There's a lot of things that make up closing cost and your cash to close amount that the lender doesn't have control over. Mm -hmm. Title and escrow fees, your homeowner's insurance and property tax amounts. Those things are gonna be the same no matter what lender you choose. Okay. Well, and there is, you know, we do a lot of statistics every year. Um, Tucson Association of Realtors does those. And it's about 40, 42% right now of sellers are willing to pay a buyer's closing costs if you come in and offer enough. So, um, but it's still important to know what those fees are going to be. And I know a lot of folks think it's just interest rates, uh, but there's actually some more things involved in that, like yeah. points and HOA and what, what, what are all the breakdowns? There are a lot of things involved and a lot of buyers really want to know their interest rate and really okay. want to know that. And that's all they seem to, to be worried about. But you need to understand the fees that the lender is charging you. Again, processing, origination, underwriting, whatever they want to call it, that's mm -hmm. a fee. Their appraisal fee, their flood cert fee, mm -hmm. their credit report fee. Those are the typical fees that will be generated by the lender. Everything else comes from, some, comes from another source, title, okay. escrow, things like that. So those fees are what you want to really drill down on. A lot of them are the same except for the processing and underwriting fees. Sure. So looking at that and comparing the processing, underwriting, origination fee, whatever it's termed, hmm. and the interest rate are really how you want to look at comparing your lenders. Okay. Now an important point is often when you get an estimate, that interest rate is not locked. I get that question mm. a lot of times, Heather. So it could so, go up. Yes, correct. They, I give, provide them an estimate when they do mm. first do their application. Their, their question often is, is this interest rate locked? Okay. And it's not, typically. Hmm. And one thing you want to do is you want to get comfortable with the lender. Yeah. Find somebody you like. Find maybe a couple people you like. Somebody you're comfortable with the fees that they're going to charge you. And then once you get into contract then see what the rate is and compare rates from one lender to another oh, sure. that day because that's the day they're going to be able to lock for you. When you get under contract. When you get under contract. Well, and what about points? What are points? Is that something we should worry about when comparing uh, fees and taking our cost sheets around to different lenders? and seeing? Very important. Okay. If you see points on there, that means you're paying to get that specific rate. Oh, okay. That now points, sense. not origination or processing fees, but points in addition to the origination or processing. Oh, okay. So you might see a percent of the origination or process for the origination or processing fee, yeah. and then additional discount points. That's where you're going to be paying to get a lower interest rate. So you're basically paying a little extra fee up front to pay less over time. Correct, and it can be a good strategy, but what you don't want to do is think you're getting a great interest rate, but you're really paying for it 
yeah. more than you would be elsewhere. Right. And you want to be able to know that you're paying for that lower rate. Right. Well, and I know uh, I work with a lot of buyers and most people, I mean, we kind of tend to think even myself before I got into real estate as a buyer that, you know, you're paying interest on a loan. So that's what you're paying for the loan. But it's actually a two step process, correct? I mean, there's like originating the loan and then there's servicing. Right? Correct. So we originate the loan and that's what you're paying the mm -hmm. origination fee is for us to originate the loan. Now okay. we do sell off the servicing of our loans. Mm -hmm. So we're always going to sell off and they're going to be serviced by other companies down the line. They're going to make their profit off the interest fee. Yeah. We're making our profit off of the origination fee. Right. Well, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Do you think there's any is it cheaper to go to a place that services the loan and doesn't sell it or are you still paying a loan origination? You'll still pay to, okay. to originate the loan. I don't think there's any one route via going direct to a bank a loan director, a loan servicer, mm -hmm. or using a mortgage broker like ourselves, um, that is would make it more affordable. So it's kind of a number of variables, right? You're going to be looking at interest rate. You're going to be looking at cost. You're going to be looking to see if there's points involved. You're going to be looking to lock. And then we then get what's called a cost sheet, right? And take it to different lenders to compare. Every every lender should provide you an estimate. Okay. And now, and that's what I was talking about before. The estimates will come with closing cost amounts, cash to close amounts, a lot of numbers on there. But you really want to be able to drill down and ask that lender, what are the fees associated with the loan? Where is Where can I see the processing origination or underwriting fee and other fees that the lender's charging you? That's good. Because all the other fees, like I mentioned earlier, are right. going to be determined by the real outside estate. of the lender, yeah. by the real estate contract, mm -hmm. and use that as well as the interest rate when you're comparing lenders and don't get caught up in all the other costs. Okay, no, that sounds great. That is a great 101 for what to look for when comparing lenders. Now we can come back again, right? We have oh, back, Mr. I, Fitzgerald? I'd be happy to. We can discuss other things like okay. the myth about you still need 20% down yes. to be able to get a home. Oh, so yeah. there's other topics that I'd love to cover with you, Heather. Okay, okay, great. Well, thanks for sitting down with us. I think we're even going to have an episode where we talk to title company a little bit about giving tips for sellers on comparing offers when there's different loan types involved versus cash. What? How is that going to affect you? So uh, tune in again. Have fun out there in the Tucson housing market. Stay cool. Please like and subscribe and come back next week. We look forward to helping you with more good, relevant information. All right, stay cool, guys. Bye.